Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new to this channel. So today we are going to talk about the syllabus of this course or you can say the overview of this course. So uh, according to the ordinance of this course, this course comprises of three years of academic section and one year of compulsory internship that add up to four years. So uh, now we are going to talk about every semester one by one. So in first semester you will have six subjects. The first one is human anatomy part one. So there will be human anatomy part one in first semester and human anatomy part two in the second semester. So in human anatomy, they will teach you about the cadaveric anatomy, cytology, histology and genetics also. It can be differ from university to university and the second subject will be human physiology. So in human physiology, there are in human physiology also there is human physiology part one in first semester and human physiology part two in the second semester. So in human physiology, they will tell you about the functioning of different organs and uh, they will tell you about the vital signs because it is very important to learn about how to uh, check the vital signs of the patient. Uh, so they will teach you about the vital signs in the practical of human physiology. The third subject is basic physics and the radiation physics. So in basic physics and radiation physics, they will teach you about the basic that basic physics you can say they will teach you about the uh, heat and heat and magnetism and the basic Newton's law and radiation what is radiation there is a different types of radiation that you're going to encounter in uh, radiology department or nuclear medicine department or radiotherapy department so they will teach you about the radiation and the basic physics in this uh, in this subject and then you will have community healthcare issue that is uh, not very useful subject you can say uh, but you will uh, learn about the different organization that uh, helps in uh, a hospital or for example you will uh, encounter how the WHO is working how UNICEF is working how FDA is working so they will teach you about the community healthcare issues in uh, in this subject then you will have basic professional communication so basic professional communication will help you to uh, you can say to polish your English or to polish your communication uh, when you are uh, having a communication with the patient so they will teach you how to communicate with the patient how what what are what are the basic steps of communication so they will teach you about they will teach you about these things in basic professional communication the last subject is introduction to the computers so introduction in computers they will teach you about the computers uh, uh, about ms excel how to work in mx sx how to work on dos that how to work on DOS, how to work on C++ or C or uh, the basic functioning of the computer because you will be working in MRI department and the uh, PAC system that is picture archiving communication system. So the computers are very integral part of radiology department you can say. Talk about the second semester. In second semester first subject is human anatomy part 2. In human anatomy part 2 you are going to learn about the radiographic anatomy and the sectional anatomy that you are going to encounter in radiology department and the second subject is human physiology. Third subject is radiation hazard and protection and control as we know the type of radiation that we are using in radiology department in x-ray and CT scan is carcinogenic in nature because x-rays is carcinogenic in nature so it's very important to learn about the radiation hazards so they will teach you about the different radiation hazards and uh, different units of radiation for example gray sieverts and uh, roengen and air karma so they will teach you about different units of radiation and they will tell you about the protection also how you will protect yourself from the radiation and how will you control those uh, radiation how will you control the amount of radiation by using the uh, three cardinal principle and the fourth subject is radiological positioning so in this they will teach you about the radiological positioning for example uh, if the patient is having a chest injury so the physician will ask for uh, certain radiograph for example chest pa chest ap lordotic view decobitus view so there are different views for different pathology if the patient is having the uh, pneumothorax or pleural effusion so uh, the physician will ask for uh, decobitus view lateral decobitus view or if you are having the uh, uh, tuberculosis in the apex so, uh, physician will ask for um, uh, physician will ask for uh, lordotic views so there are the different views for the different pathologies so uh, it's very important to learn about the radiological positioning uh, and it is uh, it is very important to learn about the radiological position so now the third for, uh, the fifth subject is medical law and ethics they will <laughs> tell you about the different ethics uh, it's a very uh, you can say it's a very short subject and the last subject is advanced professional communication it's the second part of uh, basic professional communication so 
So in third semester, first subject is radiographic positioning part two. That is continuation of radiological positioning part one. And second subject is conventional radiographic techniques. So in conventional radiographic techniques, they will teach you about the X-ray unit, different parts of X-ray unit, the physics behind the X-ray unit, how the X-rays are generating in the X-ray uh, tube. So they will teach you about the Bucky, they will teach you about the grade, they will teach you about the zero radiography, they will teach you about the uh, screen film radiography. So it's very important subject to learn. So then the uh, third subject is radiation protection and quality assurance. The main part is quality assurance. The quality assurance is something that is given by the person who manufactured that machine. So if you're buying X-ray machine or CT scan machine or MRI machine, so the manufacturer behind that machine will give you a quality assurance on that machine so it's very important to learn about the quality assurance because it's a very uh, important part you can say uh, fourth subject is fundamental of microbiology in fundamental they will only teach you about the fundamental if you are doing uh, bachelors of radiology and imaging technology if you are doing uh, BMLT they will uh, teach you in deep but for us they will only tell you about the fundamental about the scientists about the staining about the bacteriology the shape of bacteria and the staining procedures of some bacteria that is gram negative and gram positive and they will teach you about the acid acid fast bacillus so they will teach you about these things only the fundamentals in the fundamentals of microbiology part one second is immunology and serology in immun immunology they will teach you about the antibodies they will teach you about the antigens different types of uh, uh, a mechanism behind the coagulation coagulation factors they will teach you about the coagulation factors they will teach you about uh, different types of antibodies they will teach you uh, antibodies and antigen reaction so these uh, come under the immunology and the serology and the last one is environmental studies in environmental studies they will teach you about the uh, lithosphere atmosphere those are the very basic things you can say they come under the environmental studies and uh,